It looked like a pharmacy. What do you want? Do you guys know where we can get some coke? Yeah, I mean, like, just like that. You got it on you right now? Come on, man. I ain't gonna be a citizen. I don't carry no dogs on me. It's right around the corner, man. Two minutes or less. Give me the money and I'll go. Rule number one. Never let the money leave your hands before you got the goods. I want you to stay here. No. Well, you don't trust me? You guys both come with us. How far is it from here? It's right around the corner, man. All right, hurry up. All right, all right. Okay, come on in. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, baby. right here. Give me the money. Well, fuck that, man. I hang on to the money. I hang on to the money, man. Here, but I got the money. Go I'll go with you. I got it. Come on, come on. This is a parade or something we need. No, man. man. It's just uh, where, I, where my money goes, it I ain't go. Yeah. All it you, ain't worth it. All you're trying to get is 50. Shit. No. No. 15. 15. Fifteen. Fifteen. Stay here, I man. said fifteen, man. Right? I thought you 15. said fifty, man. Fuck no. Man, what's up? Dude, but I'll keep you down a little bit, man. Rule number two. Never wear a dress while you sparring. Me. You can't trust me. Hey, man, I trust you. I got you. Jesus I on my chest, man. Seconds. You can't trust me. You can't trust me. Hey, man, I can't. It's me, Roxanne. Roxanne? Mine's Casey. So if you guys, do you guys know, have you guys been here before? You know these yes, people? Yes, we come here all the time. They got good stuff? Yes. I'm just, I don't know, I just, you know, we get nervous about giving our money to people when we don't, when we don't know them. Oh, don't worry, Buddy don't burn nobody. It's true, Butter didn't burn nobody. He was an honest man, a playwright out of Detroit. One day he came home to his apartment building and there was these two rockheads that were trying to fuck this little 12-year-old girl. Her mother had traded her for some rock and he tried to put a stop to it. So they threw him out of a six-story building. He wakes up in a hospital with a steel skull, steel jaw, and steel pins in all his so, joints. you think that I look like the police? They say you look like the police. I know you what it is, though. You, you looking at me like I'm black. Like some bad black, black dude, some bad man. black dude's gonna rip but you off. But do I look like the police? Are you the police? Do I look like the police? I mean, fuck, fuck how you look? Does Bozo look like the damn weather man? Huh? We all know <laughs> Willis. Are you the police? Yes or no? Talk to me. Bro. First you killing me $50, and then you talking about 15. I don't think. You're holding my woman I don't in your think. fucking car. There's any chance in hell any fucking cop could think of this. Señores y señoras, nosotros tenemos más influencia con sus hijos que tú tienes. Pero los queremos. Creado y regado de Los Ángeles. Juana's Adicción.
We played L.A. for years. Our first show we didn't play very well, so I dropped my pants. Soon enough, we weren't just making flyers, we were taking in lunch. So to protect us and our reputation, we found ourselves a manager. Hello there, Marty. Are you ready for your walk? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, what? Yes, Mistress Kiki. It's better. Bark. <laughs> bark like the dog you are. <laughs> get down. Did I tell you to get up? Bark. <laughs> get up. Bang. I want to see your tongue. Bang! Bang! And have you been a good boy this week? Well, yeah! What makes you think so? Oh, I just got back from the Bahamas. I made lots of money and I had a big fat lobster. I dipped it in hot butter. Really? Yeah. Where did you get the money for your little excursions? Huh, from my rock and roll bands. You mean to tell me that you took money from those poor, starving, creative, young, trusting, beautiful, talented, sexy, practically immortal, creative, charismatic individuals that have more talent in their little finger than you would ever dream of having in your entire body? Yeah, they're replaceable. They're replaceable? On, on your hands and knees, mister. What are you doing, Mistress Kiki? You don't need to know what I'm doing. If they don't need to know what you're doing with their money, you don't need to know what I'm doing to you. Got that? Yeah. Ass in the air, please. I want you to think about everything that you've done to these people. Hello, is Kiki there? Uh, Mistress Kiki is in a session at the moment. Uh, we're not supposed to interrupt them, but uh, maybe I can uh, pull her out. Okay. Oh, ow! Ooh! Oh! Ah. Who is it? Mistress Terry. Oh, come in, Mistress Terry. Hey, can I have one of those? No. You got phone calls, Casey. Oh, really? Great. Would you take over for me? Sure. What part do you have to? Um, well, he's at the part where he just ate a big fat lobster with a lot of hot butter on it and stuff, and I really don't think he was that deserving. Ow! I'll be right back. Morty, you put a poor, defenseless lobster in hot butter? Hello? Hi, Kiki. Hi, Casey. What's up? Hi. <laughs> What's going on? What's that? It's our, it's our new pet. It's our new hen, Graciela. Oh. Um, well, what's going on? Um, just calling to see when you're getting off of work and see what you uh, have planned. Actually, I'm not going to be getting off for a while. You're not going to believe who's here. Who? Uh, Marty. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> Kiki? Hi. Who's here? <laughs> As in Jane's addiction, Marty? Mm -hmm. He's there again? Yep. Oh, God. Are you doing him now? You would not believe what I'm doing to him. He's tied down, I've got his hairy butt up in the air, I'm kicking the shit out of him. What do you mean you're kicking the shit out of him? Well, you know how he has that totally stupid attitude where he gets all snide with me? Well, God, I, got, I tied him down, right? I am dripping hot candle wax all down the whole crack of his ass, and she's oh, squirming around. But I gotta get back. What'd you need? Well, I called to find out if you uh, were into going downtown or not. Fuck yeah, I'm into going downtown, but I don't know what my financial situation is gonna be. <laughs> Does he tip? <laughs> He's supposed to tip, but you know how he is. Can't you just tell him how much money you want? Well, 
Maybe if I string him up on the St. Anne's cross. Okay, I'll pick you up.